to go all day, all night just having great fun. Again, we have a design stream, a survey stream, and a uh, drainage stream. Now, then full detail design. Then the construction set out, tins and super tins. Very few people have a thing like a super tin. We believe version 10 has something available for everybody and we we'll certainly expect to be around for many, many years to come running the company for you. Now, I'm not too sure how many people have actually read in gem data of this form and then have to spend God knows how many hours trying to know and get all the points correct. But with the grid tin, that's all automatically done. So had we tried to read that data with the normal string, then triangulate it, then go to try doing null by angle length, and then all these internal regions may or may not be there, and you just end up just wanting to cry. So this just makes it an order of magnitude easier. This is the precursor to the new drawing engine that we are developing for a future 12B. Most of these earthquakes, we got two Gs just straight up through the earth, and the, your structural weight-bearing columns fail in a spectacular fashion. Everyone knows someone who's lost someone. There will be 67 buildings left in CBD. Previously had 1,100 buildings. Uh, we scanned the whole entire uh, art center, a um, series of 39 buildings. We also gone and um, scanned the cathedral, the icon of, of the city. The point clouds that we managed to load into 12D and work with Alan on um, less strings and LiDAR and what have you, have been given to the church. 12D at Skirt is essentially operating as an autonomous software that does the field to finish. It brings the data in from GIS, does all the work it needs to do and publishes it back to GIS. And then by the time you get the full flow going through there, it's up to about 10 millimeters of uh, depth across this part of the roadway. You can see how the water actually bends around the corner, goes up the side of the road, uh, the intersection, and back down around. So you can actually see the, uh, the momentum of the water and how it moves. Retaining walls, ground sediment and the terrain is still moving. Designing roads is like surfing. You're constantly correcting your movements, iteration after iteration. It's designed in Christchurch 2012. The world's fastest, highest flying aircraft ever built. A 30 6 hunting rifle will fire a bullet at 3,100 feet per second. This aircraft would cruise with ease in a climb at 3,200 feet per second. Literally faster than a speeding bullet. The Gold Coast Rapid Transit project, uh, how ARAP was involved in the project, um, how we effectively used 12D and had a, a very robust system for the project. Um, and Hinson will also discuss how ARAP and 12D collaborated uh, on a certain suite of rail specific tools that definitely assisted us in, in moving forward with the design. I truly do think that Australia and New Zealand have the most advanced construction survey uh, and civil engineering market in the world. It was the most well presented of all the entries we received. It had a full 3D design shared into five zones. The streamlining of 12D field, 12D model and the GIS system that uh, really made the impress the judges. With outstanding macro innovations winning him the second place outright. Sam Check of Elliott Sinclair and Partners.